Hi YouTube. So I am here to do a video about my lovely little um, goat cheese tacos that I just prepared. And I kind of want to eat with y'all and have a little chat with y'all and um, eat some of these cucumbers and just have a good time. Um, so I want to talk about, um, Xena, Xenon, <laughs> Xena, the warrior princess. So Xena is a Amazon warrior princess and I am completely obsessed with her. My brother used to be so into Xena and this was years ago he was like super young and mm. i used to enjoy walk going into his bedroom and talking to him about Xena. Because it was something that interested him. Um... He was like my protector. He's my, my big little brother, but, um, he, he's just a lot taller than me. He's super tall, so tall, so beautiful. And I really love him a lot. Anyway, here goes a really good bite. It actually has some cucumber on it. And then it has some meat and then some of the taco shell. Mmm. Mmm. Some spinach. And tahini with the goat cheese is like amazing. Uh, amazing. Just want to get another bite. My brother, he, um, I remember one time years ago, um, my mom had, my mom had kicked me out the house. I didn't have anywhere to live. I didn't have anywhere to go. I think I had just got on probation for fighting my sister. And um I um ended up going to Stanford before I went to Abilene. And in the middle of things, like, I don't know, I guess I was in the wrong place at the wrong time or just not where I should be or, you know, just like really where I didn't want to be. Like, I didn't want to be there. And this guy came in and he, like, wanted to, like, beat us with a with a bat and um just a lot of things went crazy that day and um there was like a lot of people I guess that did meth around me and this is very explicit so I am going to put a um child lock on this a childhood lock or child, um, 
a child um, restriction or an age restriction. Um, and the Methodist churches were just, they weren't the best places to just go and grab any milk and cheese from, I guess you can say. But I'm um, going to get a bite. Mm. But you could always go to like a food pantry. And they would like provide you with like food you can eat or, you know, things that you could eat whenever you didn't have anything better so that um I mean they drug me into a house threatened to um, threatened to shoot my body up with needles, put a gun to me, um, they put a gun to my head, and, um, It's kind of hard, like, reliving it because it's like, geez, get over it, you know? Like, who cares? No one else cares in this world. Like, it's something that you shouldn't even be having a conversation with other people about. No one cares, you know? But it is something that scared me and it will probably scare me for life and that's why I do um, enjoy living alone but at the same time I don't like to be alone and but at the same time I don't not not like being alone like It's like, oh, you know, you're a woman. You don't want to be alone, obviously. And you're already alone out in the world. Feeling like you're just like barefooted Jesus or, you know, God or um, just barefooted. You don't have any clothes. You don't have anything on your body that is going to protect you from the heat that's outside you don't have any type of structured anything that's gonna just keep your body from like busting out and just boils all over your body and it just being so hot to where you just can't even like survive the night um <laughs> So, that's a little bit of backstory on um, why I am against guns being in my home or my household or away from any kids and just... <laughs> And one 
would probably watch this video and be like, oh, you know, and this is, this is just parts of a story I've been waiting for, you know, I've been wanting to know why. <laughs> um, she's always alone in all of her videos and that is a little bit of why I'm usually alone in my videos and then I'm just thinking you know that guns could happen in a smaller city a smaller town, excuse me, um, then just thinking of going to a larger city just terrifies me to my core. And then, like, one could turn around and be like, oh, you know, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be scared. But, I mean, exes fight, exes, girlfriends fight. There's always some type of backhanded comment that could possibly connect to and become something that you just don't want to be around and then you have someone saying oh you better tell you know you have to tell but yet at the same time they don't treat you good enough for you to even feel in your heart that going to tell someone is going to help the situation you can tell a million people but that's not going to fix someone's heart, their intentions, or who they are behind your back. It's not going to fix any of that. So it's like, on one hand, do I tell someone? Do do I run from it? But mainly, do I tell someone that I am having a hard, heavy heart and I'm having a hard time just coming to the conclusion of why do I have to question my own self and my own self-worth to know if it is okay for me to go tell someone or not that, you know, someone is doing this to me, someone is doing that to me. But yet at the same time, you do want to keep your mouth shut. You don't want to say anything. You don't want them to keep knocking at your door. But they continuously are there, they're there, they're there, they're there. And then... It's like, is this just a simple delayed reaction? Like, is she just now bringing up how important this is? Or, like, the teams that have the great people that I have met. <laughs> people I don't want to take for granted. And so, uh, it's just, um, something I just thought I would really kind of bring up with you guys and let everyone know that I do love them and I want them to know if they do need to talk that they can always uh, reach out to me on Instagram, reach out to me on, um, any of my, um, uh, uh, second-handed, uh, clothing websites. If you're in a women's shelter, if you're, um, hurting, if, 
if um, there's anything that a woman can do to help out another woman, I am really wanting to do that because I have been down before. I'll never say that I'm just perfect and I I just live this great, just, oh, my lifestyle is just so spectacular. It is absolutely not all peaches and cream. It's not all what it's cracked up to be. But I do want to make something better for like my future. Any, if I'm going to even have a future, like I want to make things better. But I also do need the tools to be able to make things better. And not just every time I turn around, something is just not good enough for someone else to where it's at that point to where it just breaks you down and you want to be the strong woman in front of everyone else but you know inside you're really really hurting and therapy is probably something you need like you really do need a therapy need to go to therapy and I have went to therapy like I've went to therapy and I went for like um for my way to just talk to someone about everything that I have been going through. Um, so I have been to therapy and I do, I did enjoy it. Like it was okay. The therapist was an understudy. She wasn't like the main therapist that one would go to talk to. She was just the understudy. So, um, I feel like it did go okay, but at the same time, it did cost me at least a hundred dollars just to go, and it did kind of help me just kind of get things off my chest, I guess, speak to someone who probably doesn't care about my problems or issues or you know, but does have guidelines to where, like, if this is going on, um, I definitely want you to get this help, you know, like, so just talking to an understudy probably isn't going to, you know, just give me that help that I really would be needing, um, as far as, like, getting things off of my chest and um as I continue to try to get things off my chest um I for now YouTube is an outlet for me to be able to speak my truth um and you know you don't have to be here you don't have to have any thoughts, feelings, or emotions about, you know, the certain topics that we do discuss, but um, I do pray that, you know, one day you're not the one in a homeless shelter. Or you're not the one getting beat up by your man. Or you're not the one getting yelled at because you didn't go tell someone that this, that, and the third is going on. Or you're not the one that's in the position to where you've only been friends with someone for a day. And you don't know whether you should call the cops on their abusive boyfriend or would they try to fight you for it or you know like that's why I do enjoy having these conversations beforehand with women because I want you to tell me what you want me to do I want to know what I can do to help the situation what I can do to um be there for another woman and not tear 
her down when she already has her own ghost and problems that she's dealing with from childhood that she doesn't need you impeding on and completely just destroying her outlook on life because you want to be I would use the word prick but basically you want to be who you are and I just don't have the energy to have that around me but it's so easy to fall victim to someone who all they want to do is be a rotten apple or a rotten lemon on a brand new fruit tree it's mad annoying but anyway i will talk to you guys later peace out youtube love you so 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 much and don't forget to like and subscribe and um any support that y'all would love to leave i would love to hear your comments below and holla